Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can convert a material to use in a VIX for World at War. I'm converting an image from Black Ops, so you can also use it for that, or you can make your own VIX in the same way, basically. So let's get started here. Um, I got a 10 minute recording limit, so I'm not going to waste too much time and go through it rather quickly, so I can make that. Uh, let me see it. I'm going to convert the IWI into a DDS file so we can open it. Uh, use one of Tom's tools for that because it's really easy to use. We're just going to drag it on there and we have our DDS file. Here we go. Move that. Let's open that in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you use. Uh, I double clicked it. I, I didn't want to do that. Here it is. So let's zoom in a bit. If you look at this image, uh, that's kind of important to know later on. It's an image that's divided into four uh, even sizes. So it's basically four images put into one. This is a blank image, I guess, but it's still four images put into one. Two columns, two rows. Remember that for later. Um, we just want the yellow dots and we want to remove the background so it's a transparent image so use the magic wand tool for this uh, tolerance you want to have to play around with it a bit so it looks okay so it selects every dot and stuff like that now you see it also has the border selected here so it actually selects the black background we don't want that so invert our selection Control shift i and now we only have our dots copy and paste them and remove the original layer. Oh, this was a miss. Here it is, it's gone. And now we have a transparent image. That's what we need later. So save this. Uh, save, overwrite it. Here we go. And copy that into your World at War root folder in Texture Assets. Copy and paste, here we go, and open Asset Manager. Now we're going to make the material we're using for DFX. And this is basically DFX in this case, it's a sprite. So um, I'm putting it in a GDT I already have, so it's not too messy, but you can make a new one, obviously. Select Material, New Entry, and then uh, prefix this with gfx underscore otherwise effects editor won't open the material and stuff like that and we don't want that and then just name it anything so uh, view fx uh, thunder g so material type is going to be an effect and surface type none that's fine blend function we want blend alpha test ge128 so it's transparent now for a view model of X, this is kind of important in most cases. You want this to be disabled so it gets rendered on top of the view model, otherwise you won't see it. And we set a rows and columns uh, because the image was divided into four images. So we have two rows and two columns, so we want to set it here. Two and two. And select the image. And there it is. Um, you obviously want to save the GDT and convert it. I already had a GDT, so that's why I didn't save it. This is all bullshit. And there is the material that's working. Let me show you. Converts fine. So close that and open FX Editor. So we can make it into an FX we can use. Increase that a bit. So we have a new FX that's all blank, so select new segment. You can rename it or something emission. We don't need that, we not going to use it. Visuals, um, for this one we want to select the oriented sprite. So it's oriented in the way we say it to orient. If you select billboard sprite, it will always face the player. If the player is moving, it will keep facing towards the player. We don't want that, so we select oriented sprite. 
uh, select the material in here, raw materials, select by date, thank you, and the new material we just made. Um, start frame, fixed frame, that should be okay, so it starts at frame 0, which is the top left image, I think, maybe bottom right, I don't know. Uh, play rate, we wanted to play through the frames, so set something here, 10, whatever. Um, we're going to give it a yellow orangey color a bit. So it looks kind of okay. The bl alpha transparency, you want to pull it all the way up so it's nice and even all the way for a start. And you can always change it later on, but this way you know it shows up. Rotation, physics, you don't need that. Velocity, we're going to set effect now. So it spawns where the tag is. Uh, size, keep it a constant size, so move it all the way up. Scale it so you can see it. Make it 10 or 100 or whatever, so it's big enough to start with. Uh, set this to looping. Match the life so it's nice and smooth looping. And save it so we can play it. Raw, Evict. I already tried earlier on, but I exceeded my 10 limits, 10 minutes limit. So, so it's saved. Let's play this. Here we go. There's the FX, the sprite for the FX, the FX basically. So yeah, that, that's it. You can use this uh, as a view model fix. You can add a light or a glow uh, to make it look more impressive, I guess, because this isn't that great. You have to remember this is kind of big in game you will end up underneath zero uh underneath one sorry probably um view model fx is going to end up very small and it's very hard to see in a fix editor when you're working with it so just keep it up and reduce it when you save it um to add a light or something that's pretty simple you can just add a new segment and then select the light in here so it has a bit of glow give it the same color, loop it, stuff like that. Uh, let me show you about the oriented sprite. This is an oriented sprite. Now when we move, the sprite just stays in the same position because it's oriented that way. Now if we change it to a billboard sprite, when we move around you see it just following us. So for a view model fix you obviously don't want that. And you also have the tail and the line which are also sprites and have their own ways of behaving. I think one faces away from you in the length, but you have to go to play around a bit with the size and stuff to make it show up. But in this case, you want the oriented sprite. Well, that's basically all there is to making a material for FX. You can save this, and then you have to remember when you use it in your map, you also want to include the material you made because otherwise you're going to have to check a board image. So that's something you want to remember, put in your mod CSV material, material name you made in Asset Manager earlier on. And include the FX obviously. So that's basically all you need to know. Oh, that's nice, 8 minutes. 9, but still fine. I, I want to show you where I learned this, because that's how it's supposed to be I guess. and this was very useful. Uh, it's a very old tutorial by BAM Skater. Uh, this one. It's pretty awesome. You can use it in the same way and you can make video screens and stuff like that. You can convert uh, uh, GIF images into FX. And you can also make your own GIFs and that way make your own FX. So that's, that's pretty cool. Thanks BAM. Okay, I'm out guys.